What's up, Ravens? Welcome to this week's edition of ONW Now. I'm Kenya Fregoso alongside Haley Pitcairn. Attention all NHS members and potential members. You need to attend a brief mandatory meeting after school Thursday, January 26th at 3.15 or before school Friday, January 27th at 7.30 in the Raven's Nest. ONW TSA students, the state team for 2012 is now posted on the CAD lab door, so please check today for the results. All those who will be participating on the state team need to attend an event sign-up meeting next Tuesday, January 24th at 7.30 a.m. to get the completion started. See Mr. Holson if you have any questions. The year is flying by. We sat down with some freshmen to see how their first semester went. Let's take it to Cameron for more. The start of high school can be very challenging as it is a new start with many changes. We sat down with some current freshmen to talk about their first semester of high school. My first semester was hard because I wasn't ready for the classes, but it was also, it was really fun. I like high school. Um, the group people that helped me the most was probably the upperclassmen because most of them are just really nice and like they'll help you find your classes and stuff. Probably one thing that I really like about high school is just Overall, there's more freedom and more availability with classes and able to do whatever you want. Not only are these students freshmen, but they are part of Olathe Northwest, a high school where everybody feels like family and Raven pride is in the air everywhere. Being a Raven is the best because just the amount of school spirit like here is better than I've seen at any other school. I do feel like being a Raven is better than any other high school because other high schools, it feels like this one is more close and more just involved with everybody. For future freshmen, my advice would be to always study and to make sure to turn in their homework. It doesn't matter if you really don't know anybody when you're first coming in because you'll make a ton of friends. For an outstanding first semester of the school year for all of my fellow Ravens, this has been Cameron Keatsman reporting for the Raven Daily. Attention Scholar Bowl members, there will be no practice Monday due to the Garner JV Tournament. Now let's take it to Game Day Northwest. Hey Ravens, this is Haley Moline alongside Sarah Slish. This past weekend, the dance teams competed in the five-star dance and drill competition. It was a very successful first competition for both JV and varsity. The solo competition winners included Kayla Hall Johnson, Aaron Isaac, and Lexi Kaminsky, who brought home two awards for both of her solos. Paige Tolley and Haley Bartles, along with Callie Fisher and Brittany Huguenin on the JV team, also brought home two duet awards for the dance team, bringing them further success. On another note, the ONW boys basketball team is playing in the Valley Center Invitational Tournament this weekend. The boys defeated Topeka Seaman last night 68-43 and they play Turner tonight. Wish the boys luck. As you may have noticed, there's a freshman on the number one ranked varsity girls back basketball team. Courtney Cottrell has more. Shalia Jamison is one of the rising stars on the Lady Ravens basketball team. With the Lady Ravens winning all their games so far, Jamison has helped contribute to their winning record. Basketball is not only an enduring sport, but it requires you to have love for the sport. My dad, when I was five, he coached me, YMCA, and then ever since then, he's been coaching me. Playing together on a team can be hard at times. The Lady Ravens may have a perfect record, but there's always room for improving. Concentrating on free throws and STP, getting back on defense. My strengths are my vision court, and my weaknesses are uh, my ball handling. Not many people can fully describe the feeling of winning a game, but knowing that your teammates helped you is good enough. Knowing that your teammates helped you win. Jamison, being as good as she is, has set some very high goals for herself and her future. I want to play college basketball and hopefully try to go to the WNBA. This has been Courtney Cottrell. Back to you guys at the desk. The bowling team is working hard. Tanner and Bennett had the privilege of sitting down with Jacob O'Kane. Hi, I'm Jacob O'Kane, and I'm a junior, and I bowl for Northwest. I got started with bowling two summers ago with free bowling passes 
and you could bowl two games a day for free. So I did that and I ended up liking it. So I tried out for bowling the next year and I made it and then I was on varsity so I kept bowling and now I'm here. I might enjoy bowling because just kind of a relaxed sport, not really too much. No uh, running like soccer. So it's uh, laid back and easy and the coaches are nice. My highest game is a 290. Couple good bowlers we got Evan Flugrat this year and uh, Becca Wood, probably a couple of the top bowlers on the team this year. That's all for Game Day Northwest. Have a great day, Ravens. Attention girls, swimmers, and divers. We will have an important meeting for all girls planning to swim or dive for the Ravens on Thursday, January 26. The meeting will be held in room 2210 immediately after school. If you have questions, see Mr. Richardson. Attention ONW students, we cordially invite you to attend our staff karaoke night Tuesday, January 24th at 7 p.m. Let's take it to Shelby to get the scoop. Have you ever had a dream to watch your favorite ONW teacher sing karaoke? Well, that dream is about to come true. January 24th, ONW will host its very own staff karaoke night from 7 to 9 p.m. in the auditorium. Ravens, come out and support your favorite teacher. Admission to the event is $10, and you can even sing for $20. All proceeds go to Mrs. Hedges and Mrs. Harris's families, who both suffered from fires this year. Attention football players, there is an important meeting next Tuesday morning at 7.30 a.m. in the Ravens' Nest. Juniors are reminded to submit their senior year enrollment by tonight at midnight. If you were absent and did not receive the enrollment information, please stop by Student Services as soon as possible or email your counselor with any questions. You don't want to be pale and white for the upcoming Sadie Hawkins dance. Let's take it to Kenya for a short commercial. Tired of being winter white ravens? Need that summer glow back before the Sadie Hawkins dance? Well, now you can set your tan back the safe way. Get a custom spray tan from Recruiting Rays. It'll leave you glowing, you won't be orange, and you'll still have the money to go out to dinner. Talk to Taylor or Nick Dexter for more information. $5 of the cost will go to Project Graduation. As many as you, of you have noticed, there is a missing raven in the hallways. Let's take it to Blake McFarland for more. Olathe Northwest finds itself minus one math teacher as Mrs. Addington has left because of a change in her husband's job. My silly husband got a job in New York and of course I am legally you know, married to him so I have to follow him and it's a great opportunity and we're really excited about it but of course there's you know, mixed emotions with that. Though only in her second year at Olathe Northwest, Addington will surely be missed. She will miss many things about Olathe Northwest but what she'll miss the most are the people she was directly in contact with. Um, I would say definitely the students. I have an awesome group of students this year. And then obviously the staff. The math department's fabulous and I will miss them greatly. Though Miss Eddington will certainly miss her students, she will also miss the staff who she has a special message for. I would say thank you everyone for being so supportive with this move. I know it's been difficult for everyone. Um, I, I'm going to miss the staff and all the students greatly, but I'm excited to uh, make the change. Olathe Northwest welcomes Miss Burnbridge as she will replace Mrs. Eddington for her classes. For the Raven Daily, I'm Blake McFarlane. Starting January 25th, NHS will be holding a Jeans for Teens drive to help provide jeans to homeless teens across the nation. If you have a pair of old jeans that you don't wear, bring them in to donate for a good cause. There will be a bin in the library with a sign that says Jeans for Teens. All you have to do is drop your old jeans in the bin. The drive will only lasts until February 25th, so bring in your jeans ASAP. Contact any of the NHS officers, Ankita Samuel, Harsimaran Singh, Emily Smith, or Elena Berg for more information. At the Olathe Human Resource Commission MLK Noonday Celebration, three e-communication video entries placed first, second, and third in the multimedia category. Andy Shepard also won Best in Show, a first time for ONW. Let's take it to a preview. Go back, back where you came, came from. from. 
You don't, you don't even, even have any friends. friends. You're, You're always going to come in last place. place. Some, Some people, people just aren't good at anything. Just, just give, give up. up. No one even likes you. I have the audacity to believe that peoples everywhere can have three meals a day for them. I have the audacity to believe that people everywhere can have three meals a day for their bodies, education and culture for their minds, and dignity, equality, and freedom for their spirit. Well, that's all we have for you on this week's edition of O&W Now. This has been Haley Pitcairn alongside Kenya Fergoso. Have a wonderful day, Ravens.